Twitter is one of the largest social networks in the world. Have you ever wondered how it ranks content and how it decides which tweets you see? This comes down to Twitter's algorithms, and specifically the heavy ranker algorithm. Understanding how this complex system works will allow you to reach a wider audience and fulfill your social media potential. In this video, I'm going to delve into the inner workings of Twitter's ranking algorithms, and at the end, I'm going to provide five actionable tips for how you can make it work for you. The most important ranking algorithm on Twitter is the Home Mixer. This is what ranks the tweets for the For You page, which is what most users use when they're scrolling through Twitter. It kind of defaults to that if you click Home twice or the, the whole application is built around that For You timeline. So getting ranked on there is key for content creators. The Home Mixer has three parts, candidate sourcing, the heavy ranker, and then heuristics and filtering. We'll go through each of these individually. First of all, candidate sourcing. So on Twitter, there are 200 million tweets a day, and candidate sourcing breaks this down into about 1,500 potential tweets to make up your timeline. So it has to extract from that vast amount of content some tweets which may or may not be suitable for the timeline, and then rank them accordingly. To do this, it sources tweets 50% from people you follow and 50% from people that you don't follow who might have a similar interest or the tweet might be relevant to what other people are tweeting about in your industry. These 1500 tweets are then passed to the heavy ranker. And this is a large neural network based algorithm with approximately 48 million parameters that's used to score the candidate tweets that are passed to it from the candidate sourcing process. The heavy ranker's job is then to rank these tweets based on the number of likes, replies, the author's kind of credibility within the industry or the sector that the tweet is coming from and its relevancy to you. It uses all these kind of numerical data points to create a list of which tweets should be most prominent in the For You timeline. The final stage of the home mixer is the heuristics and filtering. This takes the ranked tweets from the heavy ranker and has some finishing touches to it to make them more in line with what the Twitter developers want to see as the finished product in the For You timeline. These are things like visibility filtering, which removes tweets if you've kind of blocked that author or muted them. Author diversity ensures you don't see too many tweets from the same person on your For You timeline. Then there's content balancing, which mixes up the amount of tweets you see for different subjects and different authors that you follow or don't follow. And all this works together to create this final timeline, which is specifically tailored towards you as an individual user, your interests, and the tweets that Twitter expects you to engage with and respond with to keep you on the platform for as long as possible. One piece of that code that was open sourced by Twitter was the early bird ranking parameters. This, we believe, gives some insights into how the heavy ranker is actually going about and ranking content. The code provides a list of parameters and also a weighting for each individual parameter. For example, the favorite count, which is the number of times a tweet has been liked, has a weight of 30, whereas the retweet count has a weight of 20, suggesting that likes are more important than retweets for the ranking of tweets using this early bird ranking algorithm. Interestingly, both hashtags and links have negative ranking parameters, which means that they can negatively affect the reach that your tweet will have if they're overused. This makes sense because Twitter wants to keep people on their platform by having tweets with links in, it's kind of redirecting users to external sites. So Twitter wants to keep users engaged on Twitter, on the For You timeline, and consuming content within that timeline. So having external links will negatively affect your tweets, less tweets get shown with links in, which means that more users are staying on Twitter's platform for longer, which probably improves their analytics. Images and videos are the opposite of this. They contribute positively to the scoring of a tweet. This means that if you use an image or a video within your tweet, it's likely to have slightly better reach than if you didn't. This backs up on the fundamental principles of social media content creation, that rich content is extremely valuable. Now let's look at five actionable takeaways that content creators can use to increase their engagement on Twitter. Now we understand this open sourced algorithm a little better. First of all, engaging with other users is critical, both within and outside of your network. 
by engaging with a user, you connect them social links within the social graph and make it more likely that your tweet's gonna come up on their timeline and also their followers' timeline. All of this is interconnected, so by engaging with other people in your industry or your niche, you can train the machine learning algorithms to better tailor your content and put it out there to the world to a more relevant kind of group of people who might be interested in it. And that then has a knock-on effect of improving engagement because it's going out to more relevant people. Secondly, likes and retweets are key to ranking a tweet effectively and reaching the widest possible audience. If you can create a tweet which creates an emotional response and causes people to like it, and that's gonna do better, it's gonna reach a wider audience because Twitter is actively kind of promoting the tweets to get the most engagement. Number three, rich content such as images and video is extremely important. Obviously not everyone wants to record videos like this every time they post a tweet, but with things like machine learning, image generators now like Stable Diffusion and Mid Journey, you can actually create images very quickly and you can add that visual aspect to your tweet. The ranking algorithm is gonna see that favorably and push it out to a wider audience. Number four is that users are more likely to see tweets in the out of network section, which makes up 50% of the For You page from users that are followed by people they follow, kind of secondary connections. This makes having a prominent uh, figure within your industry following you extremely valuable. It connects that social graph again, which means that you're more likely to turn up on the For You page. Number five is somewhat controversial in that I think if you're trying to build an audience on Twitter, then it's very valuable to have the Twitter Blue membership. This costs about $8 a month, and it means you get the little blue badge, but I think in the future, it's also gonna have ranking implications within the For You page. Elon actually announced that the For You page was gonna be completely made up of Twitter Blue verified members by the 15th of April. It's now the 21st, and that hasn't happened yet. My For You page still has people which don't, aren't verified, but I think there's gonna be ranking parameters in the future that promote kind of verified users over general users who aren't paying for membership. This creates a kind of pay to play system and it's something that can financially support Twitter in the ongoing future. I hope you've enjoyed this video and it's provided some useful food for thought on how the Twitter algorithm works. Please hit the like button for the YouTube algorithm, which maybe we'll go through in a future video. So subscribe for updates. Thanks for watching.